Hi there, I'm Belger, and the time has come to kill Bill Williamson. Let's play. Up, sister! Put them up! Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh good! Blimey! And I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! Uh, oh. Uh, oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, how are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, a Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find a, a parts for you. Ah. Mother fucking Mary. Unfortunately, we can't raid Fort Mercer without any ammo. So it's time to pressure Irish into getting some for us. What you looking at? What you looking at? I'm sure it won't be that difficult. We'll just pop in, grab the ammo and parts, and head out again. No dramas. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my pricks in fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like <laughs> that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. Don't go getting all so here. Where are we going, Irish? Just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble-tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. All right, we're here. Stay close. Damn it! That stuttering bastard said this would be open. Oh well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. Oh, I can tell already that this won't be a good sign. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drips. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> all right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly... At an old time, hi. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. 
Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that shaky. Again. I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. Well, can't go in through the front door. Guess it's time for some tactical espionage action through the roof. Can't crouch onto ladders either, apparently. Hey, you hear that? Come on, buddy. Don't be shy. I don't have all the time in the world here. Hey, we got Go home, buddy. It's a shame they don't all come rushing out. Oh well. I guess I'd better take the party to them. I don't want to die out here. Mister, I th 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 thought I, w I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. It's gonna be one hell of a fight. Let's have before the door. Follow me. Introduce this son of bitches to your bubble, my pal, Mr. Rock. Come on, you bastard! Well, it's a good thing we're in a munitions warehouse. Lots of stuff to blow up. Let's shoot the hell out of these towers! How many of these fools are there? Get out of here! All of you! Ideally, I'd have cleaned out all the guys from that ridge, but where's the fun in that? I have no idea how that guy dropped from the ceiling, but okay. This isn't good. Visibility is low and there's a bunch of these guys. Why is everything Irish makes us do so difficult? Nobody puts oh. their hands on sh 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 shake. Looking back now, I'm regretting not shooting the lanterns from the top of their heads. Hindsight's a bitch. This should be the last bunch, hopefully. Oh, 
Gunfights uh. only in one way. Now we're even. Off even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 -k 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 -k. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you d d d dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. Uh, b -b 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. Fuck. Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. Come on, time we was making tracks. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's gonna drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. And just to make this mission even better, we get chased from a wagon. At least Irish's dialogue is funny enough to bear it. Once we get to McFarlane's ranch, the only thing left for us to do will be to head on up to Fort Mercer. I feel like going up there in a suit won't be such a good idea though, so we'll probably get changed along the way. Just drive, Irish! You're acting like a schoolgirl! I'm telling you, Irish, that machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Look out, there's one on the bridge up ahead! <laughs> Jesus, we really went with a few feathers back there! You best shoot me now, or this is over! Oh, I don't know if I can take the star of this. You're shooting right at me! Thanks, Goloy. How many are there? We're almost there. I can smell it. Hell of a team, Andrew. We should consider making this a more permanent partnership. I think I've about had my fill of liars in this life, partner. Well, I think you're ready for Parch Mercer. You've got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm going to need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're going to be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Well, here we are. The point for which we've trained and struggled and fought for since the beginning of the game, a raid on Fort Mercer. It's time to stop Bill Williamson and his gang from committing all the horrible deeds they have been over the last few weeks, and time to return to our family. We've donned the duster coat, an outfit only available for those with the highest honour, and it's time to give them hell. John? Marshal? Gentlemen! <clears throat> it's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Sap has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? 
I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! Yeah! Things are about to get really messy. Over. This sequence is always great. Waves of guys versus your machine gun. No reloading, infinite ammo. Just hold down L2 until they're all dead.
Jack sucking some bitches escape the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. All right, boys, let's finish this. Here we go. The actual meat of the assault. Let's kill some rapists. I think my work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. I bid you farewell. Oh, Westicans, you coward. Speaking of cowards, where's Irish? Shouldn't a cutscene with the Williamson showdown have kicked in by now? Hmm. That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey! It's the snake oil guy! General Adam, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got a sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh, what Get the, the goddamn hell? gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Round two of the machine gun, and boy, does it not disappoint. This time, though, they have machine guns too. It's important to take them out quickly, or you're pretty much screwed. I don't manage to hit them in this video, but those wagons both have a sweet spot that causes them to explode, which makes targeting them a little bit easier. Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <coughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <coughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. That's <laughs> bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa! Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. And just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? 
Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal? All right, boys. That's enough. Well, shit. Looks like we're headed to Mexico. That concludes all the missions of New Austin, but there's still a lot more of it to see. I'll be showing all of it off over the course of this Let's Play, but please join me next time as we cross the border into Nuevo Paraiso. I've been Belgio. Thanks for watching.